already coming out the overflow here. So that's good. Everything's working. Everything is working. Now that everything is hooked up and working, let's try to automate the system to make it even more practical. From the squeak of the hinges to the roar of the drive, Bob and Nick keep the world alive. Okay, I hooked a, uh, I got this wireless switch. I think this wireless switch. And it's just roughly wired in, just to test it out. Wired in to the pump. Alright. Um, I'm holding the switch. Right here. I'm going to walk over here. It's supposed to reach the house. We're not going to walk over by the house. And push it on. The pump came on. Um, let's take a look at this. I was not able to. I actually came up with a bunch of different designs on how we can make the water go up and down and turn this on and off. I had a bunch of, it's not something that I'm going to give up on, it, but it's not something I'm going to do for this video. I think it's because this is a pole switch. This is a pole pump. This pump will pull out of a barrel. All right, to where we're gonna try a sump pump and that'll be forced to push the water from the barrel over to here. So the next step is, you know, where, where we started with this project, it, the goal is to make it automatic and to store water. So we gotta think about that. All right, firstly, what we're gonna do is we're going to replace that tank, all right, before we do the test. Uh, I was saving this for an old water softener. I was saving this tank. This would be a really nice tank here. So it's been setting down over there. Um, so we're going to hose it off, clean it up. All right, the new barrel is in place. And I'm putting bricks underneath it. Hopefully it'll stay. Not just I am going to put a new valve in here. But right now we're just going to test this, see if we can get it to flow out there. What we have here is this pump on and off, up and down, how it's supposed to work. Um, thing is, we, we're going to need a, probably a short piece of hose, because laying a hub, hose over the top of that, you going to kink it. So we're gonna have to do something. So, all right, let's uh, pump it down in there. Um, this should turn it on, but it's as high as this, so I don't know. Probably gonna have to just plug that up. Um, we gotta. We're gonna test it here. I'm gonna hook a hose to it, and we're gonna test it. See how high it can get. All right, I got the. I got, the hose, I got the pump plugged in. I got it filling for hose water. We're going to see when it switches on. I went to get a connector and I missed it. <laughs> I think it's going to have more than enough power. It was spraying all over. I'm hoping the other camera got it. Bob got hard. He's a fixing man. Couple things. I uh, put this hose thing on there. I always put a clamp on the inside to keep it from moving. The pump down in there. It uh, when it shot off, it flipped over. So I'm gonna put some. I got some rocks, some bricks there. I'm gonna tie a rope around it. Try to weight it down. So I'm gonna get that done. Here's the weight that I'm gonna put over that pump. To try to keep it in place. Well, my weight I did it work. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to hope that it works. All right, we have it now. Hook up the water tank, and I'll just show you. All right now, I'm gonna plug this pump in. And 
and we're going to start it filling up. So, it's filling. And we got it just a hose, which that's what I'm going to run. All of a sudden, unhook it when I mow. Because I have to winterize it's Wisconsin, so just easier. But I, and don't worry too much about this pump. This pump is $11, and I may add it onto the front to hire a spray, but I ain't giving up on this old remote thing. Because I think that idea would work too. I'm hoping this one does, to be honest with you. But it's all hooked up, hooked up to the hose. So we'll see here in a few minutes. All right, let's check here. Kicked on. It's leaking like a sip right there. But it is going in the pump. It is going in the tank. I hear it. It's running in there. So, we need to, I want to tighten this connection up. Tighten that connection up. I want to run a new line out here. And it's just going down. If uh, it was a bigger hose going out, I think it would be way faster. I don't even know if you can see down in there. So, we get that off, get a new overflow in there, and then we're going to test the whole system. I'm going to spray water on the roof, and we're going to see if the water automatically starts here, goes through the overflow, everything. Hang on. Going to be starting to test here. Start spraying water up on the roof. Everything is hooked up. Maybe. All right. Might take time. Hopefully you see that. With Nick by side, they got a plan. From a busted car to a cracked phone screen, they're turning wrenches. I, I set the hose up, spray onto the roof. <laughs> so, see how long it takes. Start overflowing. I'm gonna take this opportunity though to please subscribe. It's uh, awesome to see all the people that view this and they like it. And, great um we'll get better over time this is fun kind of a hobby it's finally starting to flow finally i know it's a, a hose trying to spray what rain would do rain would go a little quicker i think i know it would this is the test of the whole system I'm hoping that the overflows earlier when I was pumping in here, the overflows worked really good. So let's see. I mean, it's time. You won't. It won't be much time to you. It was time to us. Time to us. It's going at a pretty good clip there. So, I think it'll kick in if you want. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. Water sprayed up there. Out of the roof. Coming down. I got a problem there. It's like coming through. 55 gallon barrel filled up. It's going into the overflow. And once it gets 
so high in the overflow, it will kick that pump on and it will pump it out, out to this other tank. Now, we'll have some dry spells coming. Right now, I filled, artificially filled that up. So, just to make sure everything worked. I think I'm going to put these bricks right on top of there. Keep the wind from blowing it off. All right, it's kicked on. It kicked on. It kicked on. Let's go check it out out here. I'm not sure a while. I brief, I briefly hear it. The overflow is starting to work right now. Because this tank is full. So the overflows are working. The overflow is kicked in. Okay. Pump's still pumping. But that's what's going to happen. That's why them overflows are on there. Because when it rains, we don't know how much water is going to come. I am going to shut this off now. So, basically, that is the end of part three. The end of part three and the final part. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up my mess. I am going to take that pump off of there. We don't need it. Olga asked me to put something to hang the hose up here. In which I'll put that there. And yeah. These are actually working quite well. Yeah. So I'll put the battery, get all that buttoned up. So again, thanks very much for watching. If you watched all three parts of this. Truly grateful. I hope that this will inspire you to do something like this. Um, and again, I mean, it's like this started. This started in one direction. Ended up having to rebuild the platform. We had, I had a pole pump on there hooked up. Ended up changing direction again. And now I'm pushing it with a thumb pump. It's turning on and off. The goal was to have an overflow system, or not overflow, but a watering system out here in this garden based off of rainwater coming off the house. Automatic. And it works. I mean, there, I still have to run piece of power over there, but that's okay. That's okay. So until next time, thank you very much. It's very appreciative. If you have any questions, I'd be free to ask them, answer them. Please comment below. Thank you.